Now, now, the longest running talk show in the central panhandle. Ask the master auto technician with James Morris on Fox News Radio 94.5 WFLA. All right, hi, I'm James Morris, and I have a local celebrity right here. I got Daryl Day right here from Talk Radio 101, and he's got well, he's got a few things he wants to say. So, Daryl, what would you like to say? Local celebrity, huh? Yeah, that's what you are. You're local. Well, celebrity. we were just talking, James, earlier about the Republican Party. We're both registered Republicans. Yes, we are. And we were talking about one of the reasons, perhaps, that the uh, the president that we currently have now is in is is there, is because of Republicans. We've got a lot of Republicans, of which we're both. Registered members yeah, of the now, party. Now, we've met the enemy and it is us. Uh, it looks like it could very possibly be <laughs> us. Uh, we just need to be sure that Republicans understand what being a Republican is, and that is limited government, fiscal constraints, doing the thing that they should do to shrink government, not expand government, but to shrink government. And if they'll begin to do those things, we'll get jobs back, the economy will begin to sizzle. Yes. America will do what America does best if we leave it alone, but we've got to leave it alone. Well, what is that? when did the Republican Party start leaving this this area that we saw, you know, I mean, the Taft Republicans of the 50s are no more. I mean, they're gone. I mean, are we, are we talking about returning to the peace of Goldwater prosperity? Reagan era probably was the last time. And yeah. something happened to the Republican Party. The Republican Party became too involved in corporate America, in my ah. opinion. And I believe that if the Republican Party, along with the Democrats, got their little hands out of, uh, out of corporate America and let corporate America do what it does best, to create jobs, make an economy that works for everyone, only under capitalism, free market capitalism, does everybody have a fair shake? You really, truly can live the American dream under fair market capitalism. You're absolutely right now. But it can't be crony capitalism. No, no crony capitalism is not. But let me, let me ask a question now. A lot of people say there's not a whole lot of difference between Republicans and Democrats. And I'm starting to see that as well. I mean, we vote to go to war. We vote to spend more money. Yeah. We keep voting for the things that... <clears throat> 10, 15 years ago, the Republican would never do, yeah. but yet we're doing the same thing we used to preach against. Well, there was a big Tea Party revolution, I thought, in America, and I find out that the Tea Party candidates that we sent to Congress seem to be voting along the same lines. And, and when they get down to, to, to voting for things simply because of the economy, which, gosh, we all need the economy to crank up, for drones, for for the expansion of the uh, National Defense Authorization Act, things like that, those are bad votes. Yeah, now, now you, you mentioned that. You mentioned the NDAA, National Defense Authorization Act. Uh, they, they, you could actually be held in definite detention if they find you. Uh, the United in States citizens can do As a matter of fact, uh, Congressman Sutherland, who voted for the NDAA, came along and backed up an amendment that would uh, that would change that part of the NDAA that says that an American citizen could not be held. But my goodness, why are we having amendments to bills that have been passed that says that an American citizen can't be held? We have a constitution. But I, under <clears throat> I understand that amendment is still in committee, so that's usually the death knell. Yeah, of yeah, very possibly could be there forever, you know, and and. Uh, We've got to get, listen, we need to quit asking ourselves, are we better off than we were four years ago or two years ago? We need to start asking ourselves, are we as free as we were four years ago? Are we as free as we were two years ago? And we need to start deciding we're going to vote for freedom because if we're free, everything else falls in line. You know, and I, I, did, I hate to say it, but you almost sound like Ron Paul. No, he's a short guy, a little short guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, thank you very, very much. All right, James, I appreciate like, that. Appreciate thank you very, very much. Hey, I'm James Morris. I'm with Friday Fest, and I got Bill Dozier. He's running for county commissioner with all the noise and things going around here. Bill, tell me what's going on. Oh, we're just we're enjoying ourselves out here, walking, walking downtown, and enjoying all of our friends and meeting new people. Well, I, now, now tell me about vote for Bill Dozier for County Commissioner District 3. Now, yes. I talked to somebody else who's running for District 3 today. Who's running against you? Well, there's a, there's a gentleman named Charles Modiford who's running against me. Uh, and um, and uh, so he and I will re uh, face off primary. in the primary. Right. right. Okay. So you're in the primary. I'm in the primary, too. I'm running, okay. for, I'm running for Bay County Committee, man. That's right. That's, That's right. right. Yes. Now, but so in the primary, then who are you going to be running against? Uh, in the general election? In November, uh, the winner of the primary will face um, Les Nelson. Les Nelson. Right, right, right yeah. Right. So uh, and that will go on in November, the general election. Okay. So that's what's going to go So we, now the, the Republican uh, primary is August 14th, right. and then November 6th is the general election. That's right, so yeah. Right now, now. We, now, you and I talked about opening the old pass. We, right. did, we talked about it, and I told you we need to have a sandcastle contest yeah. where we all get out there on a high tide and build the largest sandcastle, and just so happens the pass hey, might open up yeah. by us. Hello. Now, Hello. Now, you're oh, right. Oh, you, there we go. There, there we go. go. <laughs> That's all right, Bye, man. 
Anyway, so now tell me about the old pass. What do you think about opening the old pass? Can we do it if we didn't have federal funds? Uh, or state funds. Well, we do it as private citizens. yeah, I mean, uh, the, you know, once we get over the hurdle of getting permission, you know, getting the permits uh, and from the state, giving us their permission to do it, you know, we have to get the permits and get all that in order. Once we get over that hurdle, yeah, I think as a community, we want to come together. We can come together, and uh, where there's a will, there's a way. Well, I learned in the Navy it's sometimes better to ask for forgiveness than to ask for permission. So maybe, just maybe. We just say we're sorry, but and just going. We, we just say we're sorry as we opened up the old pass. You oh. know, we had a big, we had a great big sandcastle contest, and it just so happens the oh, the, the, that, the pass opened up. Now, could we go to jail for something like that? Well, it just depends on how far they want to push it. You know, the the the, uh, the, the state and federal people. You know, and that's as a, it, that's one of the things I'm, I know I'm sounding facetious when I do that, but that's what's happened. <laughs> that's what's happening to us as a country. Yeah. We've been so regulated. We're oh, so. I know it. We gotta have permission to go to the bathroom. That's oh, a shame. It's a shame, but it's true. It You're is. right. It is. It's yeah. That thing. And so, so one of the things I'd like to see is where we have more freedoms, more liberties, I agree. and be self-responsible. You know, yeah. and, and not have to ask for permission for everything. Oh, I, I agree 100. percent I mean, uh, you know, it's. I, I'd like to see things. Um, I, we always want to see things progress, but when it comes to our freedoms, I think there's some things we need to back up on because they've taken too many of our freedoms away. Well, Benjamin Franklin said it best. Anyone that gives up liberty for security deserves neither. Right. That's exactly right. Yeah. Deserve yeah. All right. Thank you so much. This is Bill Dozer. Uh, thank you. District 3, vote for him. Please vote for him. All, All right. right. Talk, All right. Now. Bye-bye now. Put him down here at Friday Fest just getting what the average guy thinks about what's happening in our country. Are we, do, are we have more freedoms now than we used to or do we have less freedoms than we used to? How do you feel about your freedoms? Do you, do you feel like you've got more freedoms or less freedoms? Oh, freedom's been taken away for the last 20 years. You're absolutely right, they have. Uh, which, which, what areas of freedoms do you see taken away from you? Uh, every freedom that we had, uh, go out and fish for fish. That's a good, that's a very good point. Right now, Agenda 21 is taking, uh, that's part of it, why the uh, um, Treaty of the Seas, that's why fishermen can't fish, it's called the United Nations. Did you know that? No, 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 no. By the way, Americans in our area, we can't uh, fish off whatever, 12 miles, but the rest of the whole world can fish off our shores. They sure can, and that doesn't seem right, does it? No. Doesn't. But what I wanted to say was one thing. Thank God for Obamacare. Now, why do you think, what's good about Obamacare for you? What do you like about it? What I like about it is uh, any relatives, anybody, or myself, if I have pre-existing conditions, one. Number two, uh, if I can't afford health insurance that I had for 10 years, I don't have it now, the last year, I paid it myself that I can afford it because now we're going to have a place to go and it's going to be a reasonable price, whatever we make. Not Now, the problem about that is that money is coming from someone to give it to you is that what? That's, I mean, because money from the government's not free. It comes from some place. It comes from taxes. And you don't think that all the people around here that say it, that you talk to that say it's free to go to the hospital oh, around not, here in Bay County, they go all the time. Yeah. I know people and friends of mine that say, it, "Well, you just go to the hospital; they'll take care of you." Right. No, it's added to your debt to your life and you can never have credit again. Ah. So you're going to lose your home or your credit over your health. Why? Every single citizen should be equal in the United States. The United States government, Obama or anybody else, even the Florida legislators should not have free health care because that's why they vote in this stuff. They should have to pay for it like all of us do. So, they, so you think our legislators and congressmen should be, a, uh, be a, have the same laws apply to them as applies to us? That's what the government was born on. Our government was born on. All of us are equal, whether whatever level of government you're in. You're not above the law, no matter who it is. The law or even doctors, insurance companies or anybody else and 
the price of health care has become ridiculous. No argument there, but the only thing I was wondering about, about uh, I know that Congress has exempted them from themselves from Obamacare, and so has the legislators and all that. Now, I don't think that's fair. How about having a constitutional amendment that lets it make it where they have to go have the same things that we have? They're under the same rules that we are. You think that's a good constitutional amendment, maybe? The same rules as yeah, like as they, well. like, if they, like if we have Obamacare, they have to have Obamacare. You know, right now they're exempt from that. Do you know that? Who is? Our legislators are. Our, oh our, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. I, I agree that they should have this. That's the reason they're out of touch. They're out of touch because they're given all these exemptions and uh, health care plans for them that their their health care is covered for life. As that's, a that's true. It is true, and they're and they're not under the same thing we cover. You know, they, the, Obamacare is just for us peons or us, us peasants, and they don't have it. Now, what about drones? Have you heard about drones being surveillance drones being in America? Have you heard anything about that? I don't know about it.